Hey, welcome back to the Boss Up with K. Boss up, boss up, boss up, baby. And we're back with another gig out video. So no long talk. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Because I'm here every single day bringing you side hustles, gig apps, courier companies, ways to make extra money, new businesses to start, new roads and avenues of success. We about that and getting out the nine to five rat race. And without further ado, we're going to get show, get show, get show behind a new gear gap. Let's talk about it. Oh, there we go. Bye bye. I'll get your on demand courier. Get show. So, what they do is pretty much get your stuff. Um, leave a credit card, or keys at a bar, call somebody up, get your stuff. Order a TV or sofa from a retailer, call, hit up, get your app, get your stuff. And how you come in and get money is by simply having a van or car available to make the money. So new gig out coming um, primarily in the Northeast right now, but they are expanding quickly. And I want you guys to be the first ones to be a part of this app and get loaded because you know how fast these gig apps get oversaturated. And once they get oversaturated, there's no money. That's why gig apps, apps are so low paying right now because there's so many people on there. Gig economy is low skilled. All you need is a car, a phone, and know how to pretty much read. So anybody can do that, especially in America. Um, so you have to, you know, stand out having a larger vehicle, um, doing gig apps where you have to load and unload where a lot of people can or are not willing to do. That's how you stand out or get in to these apps first. And this is your opportunity to get on this app first uh, while they're still in the sign up phases. You see some of the retailers that they work for Best Buy, Home Depot, O'Reilly. So you're moving auto parts, clothing, furniture, appliances. Get your, get your, get your stuff. So, you know, return from library books, tools, uh, recover a cell phone you left at a friend's house. You know, you, get, you need to get some stuff from an ex-girlfriend or boyfriend's house. You can call Get Show. So they break down everything. They work with small businesses. And they have a fee where they pay. And they got a form where you become a driver. I always do is um, come down to the bottom of these apps here. You see all the stuff that they pick up, the retailers that they work with here. But uh, what I always do on these apps is come down to the bottom guys and then go to drivers. That's usually where the driver section, driver application. You have the apps. You can download the apps or fill it out here. Name, all that good stuff. All right. But as far as becoming a driver, incident driver, you see the information, just a basic form, name, email, phone number, what city you're going to be in with state and then a name and market model of your car not a lot of contact information with these guys so it's hard to follow up so this is one i would just go ahead get on the list get signed up and uh, wait for them to contact you i know you guys looking to get something started right away you need money right now but like i said with the gig out market being oversaturated you want to get on to these things quickly and be the first one to get on and so you can get you know rolling in your area so don't hesitate just because you might not get hired today or might not get started this week do not neglect to sign up for this site this could be a big gig app could be a very high paying gig app so you kind of see so they do pricing based on what you're picking up where you dropping off at here's an example of uh dale he's you know picking up stuff on the way at pickup but just like just most apps you do everything in the app you uh you know take a picture of the item when you pick it up drop it off and all those things so you know you add your courage you add your delivery address where you want to pick up when you want to drop off tell them what it is what you're picking up what you're dropping off and then you know the people get the stuff to you so when you're a driver you're going to look on the app see what it is needs to be picked up you're going to accept the job and then go get it so there's you know now with this it could be a great area 
you don't know what you're picking up for people, what you're dropping off. So I hope they have something like that vetted where they know, you know, what exactly you're picking up. But I picked up some things on a roadie app. And like I said, I just picked up some stuff from a person's house where they may have like a home based business. And they need stuff delivered. So you never really know what you're delivering. So you got to be uh, cautious and use safe practices with that. Make sure you're not, uh, you know, transporting any illegal legal items. All right. So sticking around to the end of this video, that's pretty much to get your app. Go ahead and download it. I'm pretty sure most of you guys are downloading this app already while you're watching the video. But I got a additional information for you guys sticking around to the end of the video. I'm going to show you about a grant, a business grant you guys can use. Um, you can start your own courier business and get a business grant around that. Here is the FedEx small business grant. Here's the winner from, uh, I guess, earlier this year. She makes cupcakes. But uh, get cash grant, collaborate with other winners, feedback. And 10 people are going to win $30,000. So with these grants, these small business grants, it's all a numbers game. Um, here are the 10 that won before. You kind of go through these companies, see what type of businesses they like to award. It doesn't mean your business won't win, but they have certain type of businesses they like to see winning. And then uh, they got an additional 20000 if you're a veteran. Through uh, USAA, so that's pretty cool. So they got fifty thousand dollars grant just to help out their business. But you come here to this website link right here, small business FedEx small business grant, or you can just Google FedEx small business grant two thousand twenty three. Take you straight to this website, and then here are some of the things you need. You need to create an account. Uh, you know, start thinking about a short company bio. Make sure you have all this stuff. Your company should have a logo. Um, come up with a two minute video, pretty much explaining what your business does and how it can help, and how FedEx can help your business grow, and how you can partner with FedEx. Mm -hmm. Pretty much what they want to hear. You can use tools like Chat GPT, Google Bard. Or find uh, somebody who's good at writing grants through, you know, freelance.com, fiverr.com. There's plenty of resources to find people who write grants. So that's one way. Or you can use free resources like um, AI, artificial intelligence, to write it for you. Just copy and paste what they want in there. And uh, you kind of change the prompts to make it sound more, you know, natural coming from someone like yourself you dig all right so that it is boss up boss up we got grant money coming in we got new gear gaps we got money coming in to help us get out the nine to five rat race so do not delay on that ground so we got the fedex small business grants and we got more all right All right. Play the own, baby. Boss up, boss up now. Well, well, my lord.